Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about what I call fair use magic systems. So in the Cosmere, there are various magic systems and pretty much every magic system requires some sort of connection to be established in order to be able to use it. You either need to be able to, um, you either need to be born with the um, previous predisposition to the ability or you need to like make a bond or you need to like do something in order to access the magic. But there are a few magic systems that you just, as so long as you're born on this planet, you have access to it automatically so i think that's really fascinating so i kind of want to talk about the difference between those two types of systems and how brandon is using them so far in the cosmere so yeah with that being said make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and if you're interested in the patreon you get some early access and some reactions and whatnot make sure you check that out the link is in the description so as always again so fair use magic systems so essentially most magic systems in the cosmere pretty much every magic system in the cosmere requires you to do something to gain access to it in order to become a surge binder you need to make a nail bond in order to become an elantrian you need to be taken by the shield in order to become a um in order to become an allomancer you have to be born with the ability or take lorassium you have to um in order to basically use um um, 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 what other magic systems can I think of offhand? But the uh, only magic system that you can essentially just from jump use, regardless of the situation, is the magic system that is prevalent on Nalthus, that is Awakening. So anyone on um, Nalthus is born with an extra breath. So theoretically, you could use that single breath to do very basic commands, like you can make a single breath command lifeless, and then you will be a drab afterwards. But it essentially requires no extra work or effort apart from just basic knowledge. So all you really need is just some basic knowledge of the fact that um, specific commands with specific intent will give you a specific outcome. So you can essentially just from jump, use your breath in the same way that the children and um, various people will donate their breath to the god king or to the one of the halandran gods in the you know council of gods or whatever they just kind of they're using awakening effectively when they transfer their breath over to that return so that is essentially a setup where you just from jump can use it there requires no bond there requires nothing and assuming anyone from any other place assuming they have access to investiture could also do that because breath is described as being um, far less like as being sticky but as far less you know adhere to people in the same way like a lot of other investiture is so like say a person that is you know hoyd i guess let's just say hoyd we know well hoyd's probably a bad example because he has access to like all the magic so say any other world hopper goes to Nalthus and they basically, um, I guess they would do some um, connection shenanigans to make sure that they're connected to the planet. And then I believe at that point it would be effortless for them to be able to transfer breath. So they could go and buy a bunch of breaths and become an awakener and it would just work, I think. Um, they, the only caveat in this assumption that I actually have is I don't know if you even need to do any connection shenanigan to um, be able to buy breath and accept breaths. Because I imagine the way they work, it's just, it, it's trans, because the way in which they transfer into objects and into, you know, things with the likenesses of humans, that means that it's just capable of going into anything that has the, you know, sa uh, facsimile of life or whatever. Or so, therefore, another person, regardless of their connection, you know, originality, you know, original connection location, they would basically be able to accept breaths. In the same way that um, somehow Vasher is able to make use of Stormlight to stay alive as a returned and able to make use of it in his awakening. So there's Brandon has said there is something more that he has to do in order to be able to do that. So I assume Vivenna, when she shows up as Azir, has to do the exact same thing. And maybe that's where they got enough investiture to make um, Azir sword and stuff. Who knows? There might be multiple scenarios there, but I can't really think of pretty much any other magic system that is open and fair use in the same way Awakening is. The closest one that I can think of is probably Hemalurgy, because Hemalurgy is usable by anyone so long as you have the knowledge. So... That knowledge seems to be slightly more rare than the knowledge of awakening, you know, obviously. So, therefore, it's like less, you know, fair use than awakening is 
But the limitation being only what you know about it, I think, also, of course, makes it very usable for anyone all over the world. Of course, even regardless of their, you know, existing state. So if you're a cognitive shadow, well, I don't know. I guess that's still speculation because I would assume um, Kelsier wasn't able to do the hemolurgy with that whole scenario. It's more spook had to do it. So maybe even as a cognitive shadow, you can't use hemolurgy like I thought, but... Another magic system that I can think of that um, is similar um, to kind of um, hemolurgy, but I I think it's more of a, I mean, I think it counts. I think I will say it counts because it kind of works similar to a magic system, but it's more of an environmental manipulation thing. And that is the spores, the aether spores that we see in Tress of the Emerald Sea. Tress has no immediate special connection to the spores or anything. She just kind of teaches herself how they work and how to just make use of them. So it's really more a skill thing. It's a learned skill thing with those spores. But when you um, develop an aether bond, like um, how the, uh, I can't remember the character's name, but how she was bonded to the green spores to the point of like them coming out of her and stuff. She um, had to have a Luel bond, or at least that one was probably like a corrupted version of a Luel bond or something. Because it was, it had no limitation on it and it would push her to the point of death, like taking her moisture out and stuff. And I don't think a regular Luel bond, well actually no, I guess it really can because um, in White Sand, you can over sand mastery to the point of killing yourself from dehydration. So I guess it is still just a regular Luel bond then. Um, but of course you need a bond. You need to have established a bond. But those bonds seems to be a little easier to establish than like a, a Niel bond and stuff. But... I would think that um, that type of investiture or that type of material, I guess, because it's powered by investiture, so it's not technically not, I mean, it's not the same, it's a magic system, but it doesn't function in the same way a lot of the other magic systems do. So yeah, and White Sand, that magic system is actually interesting because it's even further like along that kind of spectrum so like the spores are like a magic system but it's like more use of environmental magic system and white sand is kind of use of an environmental magic system but you still need to have an inherent bond um in order to make use of it so it's closer to the you know regular rules than the aether spores are but they're both very similar, so I just find that fascinating just on a general level. That, like, maybe white sand is bone spores, you know, the white spores, aether spores or whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. That would be something interesting Brandon can do. Who knows? That's just all speculation, of course. But, yeah, I can't really think of too many other magic systems that are just fair use in that way. Awakening is very much fair use. Hemalurgy is totally fair use. And um, aether spores, just in their, you know, state as they exist on, what was that planet? Canticle? But no, Canticle was that other planet. Um, Lumar. Yeah, so on um, Lumar. So the um, way in which the spores exist there, I imagine they probably exist in a similar state elsewhere, so it would probably have the same thing. But again, I can only think of awakening, aether spores, and hemalurgy um, that are closest to fair use in that same kind of way. I can't think of many other magic systems. I mean, I guess you could say like the AVR on Pathogy and stuff like that, but that's not, I mean, that's a free bond, but it's and it gives magical, but that's not technically fair use magic because you still have to bond the AVR to get those magical benefits and stuff, which in and of itself, it's, it's hard to call it a, a proper magic system because a lot of those effects are very passive, but I guess it still technically counts, but I wouldn't call it fair use in the same way I'm thinking of these other systems. So yeah, I can't really think of any other magic systems apart from those three that would qualify as technically fair use or free use or however you want to say it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Can you all think of any other magic systems that require no bond, no special connection shenanigans, no special like setups or anything where a person in the Cosmere can just show up and use it? just that easily like can you think of any other ones besides the three that i've mentioned let me know about those in the comments down below so as always make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and check out the patreon if you're interested in early rea or um, early access and reactions and stuff like that so yeah as always i will talk to you all next time peace